everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last episode, Making an EVA Foam Lawgiver Part 1, we got almost the whole thing built. Um, and you saw how easy it was. Not hard at all. Um, so in this episode, Making an EVA Foam Lawgiver Part 2, we're going to finish off the rest of the barrel here and uh, a little tiny detail on the front and uh, we're going to jump right into sealing it and painting it and as you can tell no weathering no distressing no battle damage this is a clean machine right here um, and we do that once in a while i love the weathered i love the scratched you know that i love the mud wash to make it dirty and cruddy but not on this one this one's clean um, real easy stuff we're going to spray it to get the metallic parts done we're going to brush a lot of it but nothing on here is hard it's super easy you don't have to be artistic at all to do this paint job um all right so if you're ready to hit it let's make something all right we've got this six millimeter piece of foam now what we did was we measured this cavity right here so it's about two inches by about a half inch and we wanted it a little bit thicker then this wrap, because we want it to stick up a little bit, so we went with a six millimeter piece of foam. So measure your space, use a thicker piece of foam than this piece, so it sticks up over the top of it. And now what we did was we drew these little dots along here. We're gonna make a bunch of grooves in here, and we're going to use our wood burner to do that. And it's already heated up, it's super hot, totally be careful. And Knock off our straight cuts. There we go. Look at that, man. That is a nice switch right there. That's going to come in and sit right down in that gap like that. Look at that. Drop it down in. All right, there we go. Wow, that is a super cool looking little piece right there. Just, okay, this little six millimeter piece. All right, let's see what we got. All right, there we go. Tiny. Yep. All of our surface covered with super glue right there. Now we're going to All right, there we go. Check that out. Okay, now we're going to take this 18 millimeter piece of foam, that's about three quarters of an inch, and an 18 millimeter dowel, and we're going to make our barrel at the end of this. Um, all right, so we're going to start with this piece. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be sliding this through there. So we want to cut a perfect circle out in the middle that's the right size for this. So we got a Forstner bit that's going to be pretty close to the exact size we need and we're going to poke a hole through here on the drill press. Now we can go ahead and cut this outside shape out on the bandsaw. All right, there we go. Check it out. Now that's going to slide right through there like that. that is... Okay, now we're going to come in with this little template on each side just like that, all the way around all the pieces. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to use our X-Acto knife and we are going to come in just like that. Keep your finger out of the inside because you don't want to go through into your finger. We're going to just go real carefully from corner to corner like that. Just like that. We pop the little square out. Perfect. 
That's it right there. See that? That easy. You just take your time and saw through all of them. Okay, now here's where we're going to cut off our 18 millimeter dowel. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the end off. All right, there we go. We've got it cut apart. Let's drop this in here. All right, now we're going to poke a hole through here. Let's get it to make sure we're in the center. All right, there we go. Perfect. Now we've got a little hollow piece of our barrel. Now that's going to drop in there, and that's what we get. Perfect, there we go. Nice. Slide that in. We're going to push it down in there. Wow, really nice looking nozzle to our barrel right there. That is cool. All right, now let's do this little gizmo on the front here. All right, there we go. Some simple little four millimeter and three millimeter pieces. All right, now that's going to go there. This is going to come in on the top and that is going to sit right there. All right, but what we're going to do first is we're going to round the edge of this little tiny one over a little bit. All right, we've got it on our X-Acto knife, so we can position it right in the center, just like that. There we go. That is cool. All right, now we're going to take this little simple four millimeter circle. That's it. All right, now we're going to take our Dremel and we're going to round the edge off. All right, there we go. Slightly softened edge. We're going to bring that in and put it right there on the back, just like that. All right, look at that. Okay, here we go. We've got our two little logos. And that's on four millimeter foam. We've got our lines drawn out and our dots, okay? So we're gonna use our wood burner and we're gonna burn these lines into this piece. All right, so we're gonna come in and we're going to roll right through like that. All right. Just like that. Cut our little notches out. All 
All right, there we go. There is our logo right there. Pretty easy stuff. All right, now we're gonna do the same steps for that one. Right there. All right. All right. All right, there you go. Check it out. Real simple. Nice details on the logo there. And uh, that's it, man. Wow, check that thing out. That is so super nice. <laughs> wow. All right, check that out, man. You saw it. The whole thing was really easy. Um, so there we go. Okay, now what we're going to do, before we seal this and coat it, we're going to come in here, and you see these little cuts with the X-Acto knife? Sometimes when you have your piece upside down and you stick the knife through, you get some of these little cuts. So I'm going to patch these with some quick seal. And you just take it, and you put it on. Looks messy right now, but we filled in those cracks with our quick seal. And then what you can do too, is you can get a tiny little bit of water on your finger. And that smooths it out. All right, there we go, that's it. Just a couple little spots. Now we're all set. Now we're ready to seal. We'll leave this alone, we'll let it dry, and then it's ready to seal. All right, that's it. Nice and easy. Just took our time, built up our layers. We got the whole thing coated. That's really nice. All right, and as you can tell, we covered up some of our scratch marks. Or actually, our little blade cuts right back here with our quick seal, and you can't even see them. Looking great. All right, we're gonna hang this thing up. We're going to let it dry, and then we're gonna paint it. All right, here we are at the spray stand. We're gonna begin spraying parts of our lawgiver with our flat antique nickel. And you know what we always say, even if you're outside in a well-ventilated area, do not spray without your respirator. All right, there we go. We've got the pieces painted with our flat antique nickel that we wanted painted, which was the barrel. And we wanted to also get inside these little holes in the barrel. Down in here, this little open spot here, and the handle and this back end. All right, so we got everything coated, looking good. And like we do a lot of times with our flat antique nickel, it's got that perfect kind of like metal tone we want. It's a tiny, tiny hair too shiny, so we're gonna come in with our 
matte finish spray and we're gonna hit all the silver parts just to tone it down just a little bit more. But we'll let this dry, then we'll hit it with the matte finish. All right, there we go. We let it dry and then we coated it with a layer of our matte finish spray. Look at that, toned it down real nice. That's a flat metal look. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna come in with some apple red. All right, now, doesn't matter if we hit the sides because we're gonna come back in with black after we're done. So we can kind of just fill this in. Don't have to be super careful. And it's gonna need a couple coats. So we'll do a layer, let it dry, and then we'll just keep adding layers till we get the brightness we want. Same thing, doesn't matter if we get on the piece around it, we're going to be painting that black after. So we just want to get this all filled in with our first coat of our red. All right, there we go. One coat on our button at the front and our little recesses right here. We're going to let that dry, then we're going to hit it with a second coat, maybe even a third coat. All right, now while those couple coats of red are drying, before we put another coat on, we're gonna come in here with our antique copper. Inside all the creases. All right, now we're gonna come down here over to the side edge now at the silver part, we're going to be really careful because we don't want to hit our silver. So we're using the little flat edge of our brush, the square tip, just like that. And we're just going to cut in. Alright, there we go. Now we don't have to be as careful here where the body is going to be black. Because we're going to be coming in after with our black and cleaning up. All right, there we go. There's our copper logo looking good. We just covered the top and then we cut in around the sides. Now we're gonna do this side. All right, there we go. We've got multiple coats of the red on the sides and the front button. We've got our copper on there. Nice. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with our black, but we're going to use matte black. Just like that. All right, that's it. Just like that. We're just going to cut in all the way around our silver parts. There we go, see that? Right down there inside those little edges. Just be careful. All right, there we go, we got most of the black done. Look at that, real easy stuff too, not bad at all. Now we'll come in with this 
tiny little brush and we're going to cut right in around the edge of this little grip piece right there. All right, that's it. We're just going to take our time. We're going to fill it in with the big brush. Then we're going to come in with a tiny brush and we're going to cut in all the way around the grip and get the remainder of the little crevices filled in. All right, check that out. Looks sweet. We got our matte finish look here on the silver by hitting our flat antique nickel with a matte spray. And we used matte black paint, so the whole thing is dull. There's no shine to it. And we just did a lot of simple brush work, man. We just cut in and filled in all the black pieces. Um, did multiple coats of the red on these two side details and right up here. And did our copper on the logo. And that was really it. Probably the hardest part of the whole thing was using our tiny little brush and cutting in this little inside area of these spaces down in here on both sides. But that wasn't that hard. Um, there you go, man. Check that thing out. Wow, that's a humdinger right there. Very cool, and no dirt. We didn't weather this thing up at all. No scratches, no oxidization, no grungy dirt stuff all over it. This baby's clean. Check that out. All right, so with that last detail, which was coming in here and getting these tiny little edges inside here black and doing our grips, that brings our Judge Dread Law Giver build to a close. Yes, indeed, there it was. Real easy. You saw us finish off the barrel and uh, jumped right into sealing it and painting it, and you saw how easy that was. We used our all star of the paint world, the flat antique nickel, for the metal part. And then we hit it with a little matte finish just to tone it down so it has that kind of like flat metal look. And then we used matte finish black for the whole rest of it so that nothing on here is shiny. It's all very matte, very military-ish. Um, and there we go. After we sprayed it, we didn't have to mask off. We sprayed. We got a bunch of overspray, but it's okay because we came in with the black to cover it. Couple little red details, real easy, just several layers of it. A little bit of copper on there on the logo, nothing hard. And then we just took our time and we cut in all around the edges where the black meets the silver and then we filled it in. Really, really easy. And uh, turned out great, man. This thing feels good in your hand. This thing is totally jamming. Um, man, that's swell. All right, that concludes making an EVA foam lawgiver part two. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.